Today we're going to be talking about a humiliating tragedy, a total downfall of a grown man in his YouTube channel, where he will go down in history as a sad, sad man who had just as much trouble controlling his public image as he does his penis. Someone who you might all know in the past as a pretty chill and nice guy. He made decent content. He was sometimes a little bit spurgy, but then he planned his entire downfall and became a man who could only get complete dick-sugging, ugly woman to orbit him and push all his friends and fans away. We're going to be talking about a couple things, okay? I've, I've got a long list of, uh, of things you're going to go over. First, we're gonna go over the most recent thing that's caused this whole fiasco. It was just in the past 24 hours. I'm going to go over that and what happened there. We're gonna kind of throw it back to where it all started back in October I think is when the beginning of it was we're gonna go back there we're going to show him flirting with people on stream I have a Keemstar clip involving this whole situation that I'm gonna show you guys I don't think anyone's ever I don't, I don't I haven't seen anyone talk about it so I have a Keemstar clip too that I'm gonna show you guys it's going to be great we're going to talk about his YouTube channel and uh, then we're going to talk about that uh, situation that happened you know a little over two weeks ago with uh, that one woman who really wanted the tip really bad and went on Bovax's stream we're gonna talk about that situation just a little bit and then I'm going to show you guys how he doesn't speak to his wife so let's switch over to my screen here and we are going to talk about the most recent events, of course, that all of you have probably seen, which was what happened yesterday. Tipster privated his Twitter and made this tweet, this very, very sad, very, very sad tweet. Where he says, stepping away from the net for a bit. Don't know when I'll be back, but right now my mental health is more important. And I need to focus on that more than anything. I'll be back when the time is right. In the meantime, take care and know that I love you all. See you soon. For some of you guys maybe who don't know what's going on, you might see this tweet and think, damn, Something must have happened. I mean, wow. Something must really be going on with this guy. I don't know. He must have gotten, I mean, something really tragic must have happened. What really caused this to happen to Tipster? What, what, what made him want to private his Twitter account? Here is the tweet, and I just like to say, I was the first one to make this tweet. You can check the timestamps. I saw it first, just pointing that out. You can cope about it all you want, but I made this tweet. He posted this with Amaranth. Amaranth made a video that said, why I'm quitting OnlyFans? And Tipster made a tweet that says, the simp's about to be wild then, lol. And if you'll notice here, right here, uh, you'll see that the video was posted one minute ago. So in under one minute, Tipster opened this, screenshotted it, and then posted it on his Twitter. Immediately, he's got the notice on for Amaranth. It's something that I don't even think anyone else pointed out, is if you look right here at the bar, not only is the video one minute old, but he's also watched about a good 30 seconds of it. He's also watched a good 30 seconds of the Amaranth video. I mean, the man was on his ball game. He's already watched the first the first part of the video. So I made a lighthearted little tweet, you know, quote tweeting him. I was I was just being nice. I wasn't I wasn't shitting on him. I just said, bro, screenshot of this one minute after it was posted, and then the skull emoji. Just a little lighthearted meme, you know, nothing nothing crazy. I was just being, just having a little bit of fun, just poking a little bit at him, you know, poking the bear a little bit. And I wasn't the only one to do this. I think a lot of people saw my Twitter, saw Tipster Sweet, whatever, and a lot of people kind of joined in on the fun, you know, harmless. I mean, it's not, it's funny. You guys know this is funny. People clown on me all the time for the way I look or what I say. It's funny, genuinely. I mean, you know, that's true. Optimus joined in on the fun. He said, one minute after upload Tipster with a bunch of question marks. This is not even offensive. He's not even saying anything about Tipster, just questioning. Wow, one minute after you upload, really? That's funny. And Tom, he, Tom, Turkey Tom, joined in he went a little bit harder he said this quote the simps end quote you knew this video was out within one minute of its release i bet you unsubscribed just to take this screenshot you're not fooling anyone tipster which is actually funny to point out because we saw that he watched 30 seconds of it while it was posted a minute ago but he did specifically unsubscribe from the channel just to take this screenshot i mean what's the alternative what's the alternative one of his friends sent it to his Discord, and somehow within under a second, he clicked the video and opened it and watched 30 seconds of it? I don't think so. So he unsubscribed from our YouTube just to make it look a little less sus. And of course, Tipster completely humiliates himself, right? And this is an ironic, funny tweet that he posted the day before, where he says, there's always that one person who has to take a harmless post and turn it into something to be offended over. Yesterday, yesterday, the day, as in the day before when this happened, he tweets this. There's always that one person who has to take a harmless post and turn it into something something to be offended over. And so therefore, Tipster decides it's in his best interests, going against his own word that he said literally yesterday, 
and unfollows Optimus. Optimus! This dude had the most innocent tweet of them all. I mean, he didn't even say anything. He didn't even say, he didn't even, hardly even clown on him. Optimus just said one minute after upload, that's it, right? That's all he said. And so Optimus tweets, Tipster posts an Amaranth video one minute after upload. I made one tweet saying one minute after upload, Tipster. And this dude deletes the tweet and unfollows me. Incredible, no follow. We'd have been relatively chill, I thought, Lamau. And dude have talked plenty over the years. Didn't think one innocent tweet would be enough to fucking unfollow someone, Lamau, whatever, man. And I mean, that's genuinely it. Nothing else happened. All Optimus said was clown on him a little bit for the Amaranth tweet tipster shit himself and so if that was just all that was there maybe that would be you know whatever you could just kind of move on just be like yeah he's spurging maybe he just wants to leave it's not a big deal right but this is what made me decide to go hard on him right because i tweeted out about it too simply just like the same basically the same thing optimus said then tipster decided to take it into his own hands and not just you know quietly step away and unfollow everybody but he decided to tweet this unfollow a few people and everyone starts coping living rent free living rent free so tipster completely pisses himself and unfollows everybody over a harmless meme and yet somehow he copes himself into saying that he is living rent free in our heads because i i i because i guess he just said it and not only this he posted some cringe anime gif where i mean it's not animated because it's a you know it's a picture but the guy is just like like evil laughing it's like oh that's so funny excuse me <laughs> we're living rent free okay so this is step number one he tweets that but he also tweets you know later after he unfollows everybody and soft blocks he soft blocked me let me point something out too to you guys everyone under 500 followers he was blocking he was on a blocking spree blocking all of them immediately anyone over 500 followers he just unfollowed them or soft blocked them he still wanted them to see his tweets. Me, he didn't block me. Augie, Optimus. I think he blocked Tom after Tom just like continued clowning on him over and over again. I think he blocked Tom. I don't know, actually he might not have. But after the day was over, he finally blocked people. He didn't He didn't care to do it at first. The people who were actually clowning him over it, he didn't block them. He still wanted us to see his tweets. So then he tweets, Twitter feed looking less cancer at the moment. Kind of wish I did this sooner. So this is another reason I don't really care about going hard on him. He unfollowed me, unfollowed everyone around me and my community who I think are cool. And he's like, wow, the cancer is gone. Finally, this is so cool. The cancer has left. <laughs> I wish I did this sooner. I wish I blocked all you cancerous people sooner. <laughs> and he's laughing, you know, it's a little anime gif. Cringe, but you know, whatever. And there was a perfect meme that pretty much summarized up this whole situation. And I saw a lot of people posting, including Tom. And it's this little gif right here. Here we see a man uh, standing in the center of a crowd where everyone is pointing and laughing at him. Everyone is humiliating him. Everyone is shitting on him. Everyone thinks he is a clown because he's pissing himself in front of everybody. Then he says, heh, rent free in the next comment. And this is exactly accurate to Tipster. Tipster pissed himself in front of the whole community and then uh, perfectly represented it this comment exactly to a T. So that's the most recent situation. As of now, I have an update on his Twitter account, which I will get to. We're about to get there. There's a bit more content I want to run through before we get to his channel. And this update happened literally within the past like 10 minutes. As I was setting up stream, the update happened. So I'm getting live updates on this situation as it's happening. So forgive me if my if I'm a little bit kind of bouncing back and forth. Everything is coming together right now. So we have a funny little example here. I saw this meme posted forever ago. Actually, I think uh, Alex posted it and he's in the chat right now, but I saw this meme. It's called the tipster cycle, right? And this is very, very accurate. So he says, say something stupid and emotional about someone. Say you're done being Mr. Nice Tip. Get upset, people call you out and critique you. Deactivate slash apologize. And then say something stupid and emotional about someone. And it's a cycle, it goes back and forth, back and forth. So he got extremely, extremely upset that people were clowning him a little bit about the Amaranth meme and he decided to block everybody. And you know what I think is the funniest thing about this and about this tweet here in particular is looking at his profile picture here, okay? Take a look at his profile picture, right? Now, I'm not gonna diss the art. Honestly, it's made by Psych Draws. Psych Draws is a great artist. She did a good job on this piece, but does Tipster really think that he looks like this? Does Tipster really think that he is like, what, what is this supposed to represent? I'm sure that Psych drew it exactly, exactly as Tipster requested. So no hate to the art, the art is great. But Tipster, this doesn't look anything like you. I mean, this isn't anything like you at all. I mean, this is Tipster, right? This is what Tipster looks like. And now my profile picture, you know, isn't, isn't, isn't supposed to be me. 
It's a character from a video game that I like, right? But if I was going to represent myself, I mean, I'd try to make it look a little bit more like me, right? But I mean, come on. Do you think you're a badass or what? I, I, it's you're not. It's okay. You don't have to delude yourself. It's fine. He made so he got some art by hopeless speeches, which makes him look a little more you know chill. You should stick to that. I mean, I don't I don't know if the badass arc is really working for you. I'm just gonna be real. But that's just how I see it. I just thought that when I saw the tweet. Now, what really started the bullying on Tipster, right? Because everyone kind of shits on him and memes on him. Do you guys know? I mean, he he seems from an outsider perspective, it might seem like wow, we're just randomly just shitting on this guy. Do you guys remember the first thing that started it all, right? Back in October, I, I think people were clowning him a little bit before. But the real first like tweet that everybody saw that everyone was clowning on Tipster for, when I mean, you guys remember it, right? Where Tipster tweets at Hen Animal. You're not an e-girl. You're an e-whore. And you're my e-whore, not at Omega. <laughs> Oh, this is oh, kind of what started the clownery back in October was when he himself made this decision to tweet this It's not like we just randomly were like watching his stream innocently and he just is chilling and we're just like, you know what tipster You're cringe. No, that's not how this went, right? Tipster tweeted multiple times I mean, there's multiple of the tweets. I don't have them on me right now at an animal at other e-girls flirting with them, sending eye emojis to them, you know, with the side eye, you know what I mean? He did this all the time. This was a thing he constantly did. He humiliated himself on the internet for attention from women as a 35 year old man. So that's kind of what started it all, right? So just remember that, keep that in mind, okay? This has been a thing, an ongoing thing for a little while. This isn't just some new thing. And this isn't just, this was completely brought upon Tipster by himself. I mean, he did it himself. It started when he was simming for Teddy C. You know what? I actually forgot about that. That's funny you point that out. If you guys know Taddy C, the crazy woman who Augie banished from his community, Tipster was sipping for her too. I totally forgot. You, that is a great point. I'm glad I have the chat. I'm glad I'm live streaming this because that is very true. Tipster also sent for Taddy C. I mean, it's just, it's embarrassing. It's very, very embarrassing. It's humiliating, right? But he did it himself. He wanted to be embarrassed and humiliated, I guess. I don't know. Now, as you guys know, he recently removed all of his commentary videos. He deleted millions of views worth of commentary videos off of his channel. I guess by his own accord, I don't know why he would do that, but that's what he did. In every single way, Tipster's channel is completely dying. His online reputation and his YouTube legacy is dead. It's gone in the water. And I'll tell you why I believe that. Let's show you his social blade. And now I'm not gonna say like my channel's popping. I'm sure my social blade's dead too, but I don't make YouTube videos. But here's the social blade. This was obviously just ignore the views. We don't have to look at the views because that's just deleted videos. So, I mean, obviously it's gonna be in the negative millions. I mean, he deleted millions of views worth of videos. But here's his subscriber count. Every day, Tipster loses about 30 subs every single day. 30 people will go to his channel, go to his live streams, see what he's doing and unsubscribe from and I don't blame them. I've got some content about his live streams for you guys uh, in a minute. 30 people will unsubscribe from his channel every single day. Every week, 230 people will unsubscribe from his channel. And in the last month, he has lost 1,000 subscribers. His channel is so dead, in fact, that Social Blade predicts in the next year that he will gain negative 12,000 subs over the next year. That is what Social Blade predicts. Their automated bot realizes how dead his channel is and how it's dying in the water. And I mean, I, I can't I can't blame them. I have something, you know, that, that kind of perfectly summarizes this up, okay? I have a clip for you guys. I have a great clip for you guys, okay? And this is hilarious to me. Um, when was the day? I think it was about a month ago, maybe a little over a month ago. Augie was doing after hours. He was speaking about drama. You know, he was doing his thing. And all of a sudden, Tipster was live at the same time. And Keemstar joined the call of Tipster's stream. So Keemstar is in call right now with Tipster. And we are going to watch this right now. Okay, ready? You're going to cover Quantum TV, dude? Yeah, I'm gonna bury him alive. Hell yeah, dude. Hashtag drama alert, baby. He kind of reminds me of Susie Lou in the sense that he doesn't know when to stop. Like he could have easily like just shut his mouth and this would have died down by now, but he just keeps doing dumb shit. Did you see what he did to that Actman guy? No. He, he went after his He called, he his, called mom his mom. Something. He like snitched this guy out to his mom. He's making So before we continue to me, if I was just tuning into the stream, this looks like a drama live stream, right? Tipster knows the lore of Quantum TV, an active drama situation. He is currently commenting on the drama situation, telling Keemstar things that Keemstar didn't even know about the situation. He says, do you know about this guy? And Keem says, no. And Tipster says, well, this is what happened. This happened, this happened. So for anyone tuning in, this looks like a normal drama, you know, drama live stream, but just keep watching, right? Let's just keep watching. I don't really follow the drama stuff all that much anymore, so I don't know. I just know about Quantum. There's what the, do you mean uh, you don't follow? What do you mean you don't follow the drama stuff? You literally run a show on that. Uh, have you been gone, Keem? 
I don't I don't do that shit anymore. I just why? Stream. I just stream now. That's what I want to do. I got bored. It was yeah, time well, for a change. you have you have no viewers. Oh shit! Oh shit! Uh, <laughs> what? Keem, BTFO's tipster immediately, instantaneously. Keem doesn't even give tipster a second to explain himself. He immediately tells tipster you have no viewers, but it's not over yet. It's not over yet. The the kneeling is not even close to finished. Let's keep watching. This isn't a job for me. It's just something I do for fun after work. And, 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 all right. Everybody have seen you play this fucking Donkey Kong bullshit. Like, Dude. don't you have a new game? Dude, this game is amazing, okay? I could play this like a million times and never get bored of it. <laughs> Another just t absolute just BTFO on Tipster. You play this game all the time. Nobody cares. And it's true. For the past month, if I've ever clicked on a Tipster stream, if I've ever been so brainstakingly bored that I will just be sitting there drooling for some reason and nothing is going on in the internet and tipster's live i click on the stream this is what he's playing keem is completely right you play this donkey kong game he does not stop he does not care i mean he just completely obliterated him okay it's no different than like people who like i don't know play league of legends on every stream or fortnite dude it's just I'm, I'm an old fart so i play like old people games well here's the thing he tries to cope i mean you can tell he's coping almost immediately he's coping about keemster completely btfoing him and he tries to cope and say, it's just like when people play League or Fortnite. Well, here's the thing about League, Fortnite, Valorant, anyone who one tricks a game. Those games have incredible replayability to the point where every game is unique and different. The only people who do what you're doing over here and play the same game every stream, the only people who do that are speedrunners. And by no means are you speedrunning this game. I mean, you die every minute. So this isn't, you know, a game with replayability. This isn't a game where you're speedrunning. You're not trying to 100% it. There is no entertainment value in this. You can't, you can't bring up League of Legends and Fortnite and Valorant and these kind of games when they have high replayability. This game does not have that. You're coping. There was a ton of games that came out for the system. Why play this one over and Because over this one is the best game on the Super Nintendo. Hands down, dude. He's coping. I mean, there are many other games on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, like Super Mario World, Mario Kart, Yoshi's Island, Zelda A Link to the Past. There's a ton of great games on the Super Nintendo. Mario All-Stars with a remake of Mario 3, which yeah, is amazing. Yeah. Like, there's so much shit. Like, why, are, why do you play this over and over again? Because it's just so fun, dude. You know, everybody has, like, there's one or two games from their childhood that they could just go back to over and over again. And this is one of them. What you gotta do is like, learn how to, like, Ace it, 100%. See, even Peaches, Hopeless Peaches, who's on call with Tipster, she's desperately giving him suggestions on how you can make your stream more entertaining. Maybe you should try to ace in 100%. Tipster, I mean, he just brushes this off. He doesn't say anything about it, really. He doesn't try. He doesn't try to ace in 100%. He would rather just brainlessly play it. I mean, this is the content that you are being provided if you are subscribed to Tipster. This is why 33 people every single day unsubscribe from his channel every single day. Right now, I have more viewers in my first stream back than he averages now. I tuned into his stream the other day. He had 25 viewers, 25 viewers. So Peaches kneels on him and let's just keep watching. Who is this girl talking to me? This is Hopeless Peaches. You don't know Hopeless Peaches? No. Dude. It's Hopeless Peaches. Come on. If you don't know Hopeless Peaches, then you just don't know anything, dude. It's you fair. sound like a 10-year-old. Thank you. <laughs> I can assure you she's not a 10-year-old. Keep that in mind, the way he said that. I mean, I don't know if you guys caught that. That was a little bit weird. I can assure you she's not a 10-year-old. I can assure you of that. If you're not covering any drama, then what are you doing? I just kind of stream, dude. I just play video games. I just fucking... <laughs> Uh, I'm a bit of a react Andy these days. Um, just whatever I feel like. Any I just kind of stream, dude. What can I expect when I watch your content? Shit. I uh, mean, I just kind of stream, bro. Do you, what do you, like, what do you, just shit, bro. I just play games. I don't know. Shit. Do you talk? You, you play like a certain game? Are you a speed runner? I, this is just, what am I watching? Who's tuning into this and enjoying this? Is there anyone who genuinely does this besides the e-girls? You know, the 30-year-old the woman who need attention. Is there anyone who's actually watching this? My cam is blocking, but his chat is dead. I mean, his chat is completely dead. His chat has moved like one time in the past, in the entire clip. Nobody's watching. Nobody cares. Is Augie doing a show? Yeah, he's still, I think he's doing After Hours tonight. I'm surprised you're over here. I, I'm, I would think you'd be over there. Oh, he's, he's live. I'm, I'm going on his show. All right. Peace out, dude. <laughs>
So Tipster completely cucked as well by Augie. Keemster sees Tipster live and decides to call him. Do you guys think that Keemster will ever call into a Tipster stream again after this? Do you think any YouTuber of note is ever going to call into a Tipster live stream again? Tipster completely cucked and BTFO'd. And, and I'm not gonna lie, I mean, Keemstar isn't like something super crazy getting a Keemstar call in. I mean, he calls into a lot of shows. He's kind of desperate to call in a show sometimes. But usually when he does, you can make some sort of content out of it. You can kind of, you know, mess with him a little bit or kind of talk about something with him. He kind of makes content. I mean, he, the, he's done it for 10 years. He knows how to make content. Yet somehow when Tipster gets the Keemstar call in, he manages to cope and completely embarrass himself live on stream. I don't know how that's possible, but that's what he did. Speaking of his dead channel, I have something fun to show you. This is his uh, YouTube. He made the same post that he did on Twitter, but he made it on his YouTube page. Uh, he said the same thing, stepping away from the net for a bit with the same picture of the anime guy crying. Then, hilariously, his audience completely shut on him. And I don't even recognize these names. It's not like these are commentary and tarred names that like are in my chat right now, shitting on Tipster. Here are people replying to Tipster after he made this tweet. The Hydromaniac says, did someone make fun of you again? And this guy says, probably because your channel is dead as F. So Tom Richards, this guy's probably a boomer. I mean, this guy, Tom Richards, really? With this profile picture? This guy seems like a boomer. Even the boomers of Tipster's community are BTFOing it. The boomers of his community are tired of his shit. It's not just tards anymore. So not only is he losing followers and subs every single day, but just now before my stream, he completely killed his Twitter account. I don't know if you guys saw this, this is breaking news. He completely annihilated his Twitter account. Here's his Twitter account as of an hour ago. This is his main Twitter account. He had 11,000 followers, over 11,000 followers, and he either used a program or manually unfollowed all of them. Every single person following him because of getting cloud on, I don't know. If he has another account, I'd love to see it, but he had two accounts to my knowledge. One of them is blacked out with zero followers in this one. So if someone has another account, I'd love to see it, but this is what I've seen. I just got this information. So if there's more, if there's more to it, I don't have that information yet, but this is what I saw right before I went live. That might not be correct, I'll, I'll take it. I have another clip from this stream, this Hopeless Peaches stream, that is just terrible, okay? It's just terrible. So we're going to be talking about him flirting with women and his relationship with women on the internet. Let's watch this clip real quick. This is a very cringe, very cringe uh, clip. Tipster brings on two e-girls. He has Hopeless Peaches and someone else, so I don't know who it is, to be honest. But he brings on two girls, and the girls are talking about how they've been drinking a little bit. They're kind of having a little bit of fun. They're having a good time. You know, they're just being friendly. I mean, it's just, you know, they're adult women. There's nothing wrong. I mean, they're just being normal. This is how women are. I mean, let's just be real. It's how women are. But let's just watch this clip, okay? Yo, so when's uh, the art collab happening with Sight? I don't know. I got to get in touch with Sight. Is it going to be? Because cause you do, you do like NSFW stuff. So is your guys' collab going to be NSFW? Excuse me? Do you hear the way he asked that? Why would you ask that? <laughs> Why would you ask that? He said that like he was getting a boner during the middle of his question. So, I know you do NSFW stuff. Is y'all collab gonna be NSFW? <laughs> Bro, you're married. This is a married man. I mean, how embarrassing is this? Once again, who is watching this? Who is unironically watching this? Do people tune into the stream and watch this man flirt with these women? Hopeless peaches? I mean, the only thing hopeless here is Tipster's attempt at flirting. It is pathetic. It is genuinely pathetic. I've seen some NSFW from Psych. And, uh, yeah, she does good work. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> are you guys watching this? Just why? The woman, I mean, okay, the women are being women. They're, they're, you know, I mean, whatever. Come on. This is how they all are. But tipster dude, really? I mean, this is just horrific. This is just horrible. <laughs> on the live stream too in front of everybody well everybody is in like 30 people but in front of everybody he's doing why did you say that live i don't know so apparently tipster has seen sykes in sfw art and he really liked it he really really enjoyed it so much so that he wanted to bring it up on live stream in front of these women and ask them if they're going to draw porn so he could consume the porn he really loved that pornography that psych drew and he wanted more so he was asking his female friends I mean, it's just embarrassing for anyone watching. Do a, a live <laughs> rendition of one of the things you did for me. Oh no. Do a live, uh, uh, okay, just watch, just watch. Just whatever what? one you want. I guess. Make it spend the money, you fucking simp. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. Duh. Nobody loves it. Everybody Duh. Loves it. it's terrifying. Duh. Oh my God. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Jesus. Why, why? I just, this is all uncomfortable to watch. This is just terrible. <laughs> 
I love it so much. I just love it so much. I had to almost pause it because I just could not take it. I mean, you can hear his penis erecting underneath the webcam. You can see it. It's practically popping up. If it wasn't so small, you would see it on stream. This is just, I mean, <laughs> this is humiliating. This is humiliating. He loves it so much. <laughs> <laughs> this is just why. So, I mean, this is just terrible. This is just terrible. So another thing about Tipster is that he spends an inordinate amount of time on Discord calls with other women. Discord calls that are just, I mean, it'll be a one-on-one. -on -one. He'll spend hours and hours and hours on calls with women alone as well, not on stream. And usually it is when he is having a meltdown or having a hard time. And what I'm curious about is why you're not talking to your wife. So I have one example here. And this is showing uh, this woman by the name of Liana Taylor. So she posts a picture of herself at around, like, I think this is about seven in the morning. It's very early in the morning. She posts four selfies of herself, including one where she was very exhausted, very, very exhausted. It looks like she's had a very long night. You can see the bags under her eyes as if she's had a very long and stressful night. And Tipster replies to her, you look so tired in that last pic. Get some sleep, homie. And thanks for the chat earlier. Appreciate it. Heart. For some context, this is the next morning after Tipster had a meltdown and deactivated his Twitter account. So the only conclusion I can see is that Liana Taylor and Tipster spent all night talking to each other. So much so that Liana was exhausted with the bags under her eyes. And Tipster was thanking her for that chat, thanking her for the long late night chat, helping him out through his tough time. You have a wife, Tipster. Why do you, why do you talk to these women like this? And this isn't the only example of this. He's done this multiple times before. He has done this multiple times before. I don't have the screenshots of it, but you can tell he's called Hannah Animal for hours on end. He's called other e-girls in his community for hours on end. He will sit in private calls with them. He will tweet about how much he's happy that he's talking to these women. So this is the conclusion that I come to. You guys can come to your own, but that's how I see it. And Hannah knows this. We all know this. They'll deny it, but they know it. It's true. It's very true. Another situation of someone who he's speaking to a lot, not just this girl. Someone who's speaking to a lot. I have another example. It is the woman who was on a stream with Bo Blacks the other day. It was a Twitter feud that I had with a crazy woman by the name of AP something. I don't know what her name is, AP something. But it is a Bo Blacks clip, and we're going to watch this real quick. Hold up. Hey, yo, what the fuck? He just dipped. Horse shit. He's gone. It's just you. You don't have tipster to defend you. Yo, why are you so be, being so aggro, though? I know, like, y'all always think it's fucking dumb, but I have a small following on TikTok compared to you, I guess. But... Okay, why are we bringing up following? What is tipster? been online for a while. Okay, what does that have to do with anything? I don't know. I feel, I feel, I feel like you kind of flex it. Are you not flexing it? How am I flexing it? Oh, debate. Are you recording this? We're on stream, yeah. So within one minute of conversing, this girl is told that they are live on air. She asked him. It's not said in passing, by the way. It's not said in passing. She is told live on air that they are live. And she says, oh, okay. Within less than 60 seconds of their conversation. And now I'm not going to watch the entire, it's 20 minutes. The real truth is like they argue back and forth. The woman is completely confused and drunk. She has no idea what she's saying. Just completely embarrassing herself publicly after she was the one who picked a fight. She was the one who started shit with Bobox. I mean, it's just absolute mental behavior. It's just pathetic. But literally she knows she's live within 60 seconds. And it's not said in passing, it's asked, asked directly. Asked directly, are you recording? No, I'm live, oh, okay. So she is aware, she is perfectly aware that this is what's going on. But, and like I said, I'm not gonna watch, out, watch the whole thing, but this is where it gets to tipster. Of course, let me just show you just a little bit of context before I show just, just a little bit. Of course, she's the one who the fight she says anyone who's close to him knows that because Bobex tweeted out about you know deleting all his videos you guys might have seen this if you haven't it's it's simple she picked a fight with Bobex he clapped back on her whatever they went on live stream then the next morning or maybe this was a few hours later he apologized to the woman and this is what he said I wanted to take a moment to apologize to both at AP and at Bobex for what happened last night the whole thing was a big misunderstanding that led to a huge mess. Also, I apologize to AP for not making sure it clear it was clear that Bobox was live. I assumed she knew and that was my mistake. Excuse me, did we not just watch the same clip where within literally 60 seconds, she is made aware that they are live on air? Did we not just watch the same clip? And yet somehow she tells Tipster, you're in the wrong, you're in the wrong for not letting me know that I, it was live. This is terrible. Sounds like she's coping that she got embarrassed. 
and humiliate him. Sounds like she's coping. And Tipster takes the blame, I guess. He takes the fall for the crazy drunk woman. And then he says in the second tweet, I'm going to take a few days offline. After last night, I just need a few days myself to decompress. Before I logged off, I just wanted to say, I am sorry to everyone involved what happened last night. I'm truly sorry. First of all, this has nothing to do with you, Tipster. But somehow he's told by this woman that he should take the blame and he just publicly cucks himself. She grabs him by the balls, by his small, small balls and tells him to tweet this, tells him to apologize. And he does it. I mean, what can you say about that? What can you really say? And I have a theory. This isn't a, this isn't a anything verifiable. This is purely speculation. This is purely speculation. So before people sparg and cope and mauls in the chat, but there's no proof of this. AP loves to go around spouting and saying how much happier she was after she deleted her TikTok, her TikTok account with 50,000 balls. She loves saying that. All of a sudden, after Tipster started speaking with this woman, which is, he's been speaking to her for a little while now, all of a sudden he deletes, he deletes all of his tweets, all of his videos, excuse me, he deletes all of his videos and he leaves commentary. A little bit suspect. Do you think he was influenced? to that decision that is purely speculation i have no proof of it but i think it might have been a little bit of an influence that's just an assumption so i have something to show you guys so of course he says he's going to take a few days off this is what he posted the next day after he said he's going to take a few days off this to me this was hilarious i thought this was really funny he tweeted tried some of that delta 8 last night that at repsion has been promoting for advanced global lately and holy shit, that shit's strong so within less than 24 hours he's back on twitter tweeting about weed and getting fucked up and stoned degenerating his mind within less than 24 hours <laughs> he's already back i just thought that was funny i just thought that was funny i mean come on that's what he was up to immediately after he tweeted that and so yeah i have one more clip for you guys one final clip to cap this all off one final clip and it is about him speaking about his wife on stream another another great clip another great moment this is the final clip before i will end the stream so you're gonna you're gonna want to watch this my wife would oh, like yeah. to share we'll, everything we'll... but what i will well, what i will say is this this is an example i've given before and i don't know how you feel about like trigger words so i'll censor them for you um there have there have been scenarios where both me and my wife to each other have said i'm going to r word you and the uh -huh. other person responded with you can't r word the willing Oh shit! Okay. Oh shit! Oh. So like, those are like <laughs> intimate interactions that me and my wife have had with each other. And so when I look at these ones, I'm like... Uh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Come on. <laughs> I mean, come on. Oh my God. That is just terrible. I, I mean, that is just cringe. <laughs> the thing is, okay. Why would you say this though? That's the thing. Why would you publicly say this? This is just embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, stop saying this is true. That's my point. You don't say this publicly on stream. You should not do that. This is just embarrassing.